In this video, we're taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro Max leather sleeve with MagSafe functionality. Check it out. How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with the 9to5Mac. In this video, we're taking a look at the iPhone 12 Pro Max leather sleeve. And as you can see from the box, this is not a small accessory. It's actually larger than the iPhone 12 Pro Max box itself. So when you open the box, it should come as no surprise that you're presented with an accessory that is large and in charge. This is a lot of leather, folks. And my first impression is that, yeah, I probably should have stuck with the iPhone 12 mini leather sleeve. I think it would have been a little bit more portable or convenient to carry around in the hand. I mean, this is already a really large device and you're just making it that much bigger. So inside the box, you have the design by Apple and California packet and you have your lanyard. We'll talk about the lanyard in a second. Let's talk about that packet because inside, hey, there's not really much there at all. It talks about medical device interference because there are magnets inside the case for the MagSafe functionality. So if you're wearing something like a pacemaker, you need to be aware of such things. So here's the rear of the iPhone 12 Pro Max leather sleeve. Inside you have a piece of cardboard and that cardboard helps keep the shape, but it also shows you how to insert a credit card. And it also tells you about the leather and how it develops a patina over time as it breaks in and the leather starts to wear a little bit, which is actually a good thing for high quality leather products. So you also get a nice suede like soft touch material inside to protect your phone. You have that little bump for the camera module and you have stitching on both sides of the leather sleeve. So let's go ahead and remove the lanyard. And behind the lanyard, you get some instructions on how to secure the clasp. So we'll show you how to do that right now, shall we? So let's go ahead and unwrap the lanyard. And this too is all leather. You have a couple of rivets. Uh, are, is that what you call these things? Are they, are they rivets? Let me know down below in the comment section. I've always wanted to know that. Uh, but here you go. So up close and personal with the metal hardware on the lanyard. You have a little button there. And this is all pretty easy to put together. So you put that one there and then you put the other one on top. And then you secure it down just by applying a little bit of pressure like that. So. There you go. So that actually will fasten to this portion of the leather sleeve. So let's go ahead and replicate what we just did, except this time we're going to attach to the sleeve. All right. So again, just press down, give it a little bit of force and it snaps into place just like that. So what's cool though, is that it's actually fairly secure. Like you can use this thing and sort of maybe attach it to your belt loop or maybe to a backpack or bag. And as you can see, it is fairly secure, right? So yeah, I mean, personally, I wouldn't use something like this. I don't know if you guys would, or you gals would, I just personally wouldn't want to hang a thousand dollar iPhone by a lanyard on my bag or even on my belt loop, but that's just me. But here's really the coolest thing about the leather sleeve. That little window is actually customized just for this accessory. It will color match and show you the time in that little window. So if I had a red sleeve, it would turn red, blue, blue, brown. As you can see here, it turns brown. That is really cool. And not just that though, when you get an incoming call, it'll actually show up that little call right in the window there, which is awesome. Downside there is no way to interact with that window. So yeah, you see an incoming call, you even have a cutout for the headset speaker, but you can't actually, at least I couldn't find out a way to answer that call while inside the case. And I even found that it was kind of buggy, like this shouldn't be staying brown like that. And when I put in landscape mode, look what happens. Yeah, the, the little incoming call sort of is obscured until I put it back into portrait mode. And even when I put my device back inside, it just hangs up the call like that. So I couldn't even put the, the phone back in the case and answer the phone that way because it hung up on me. So kind of surprising, a little bit rough around the edges, but thankfully it's something that Apple could fix with a software update. Now, like I said, you also have full on MagSafe functionality here so you can charge using the MagSafe wireless charger just like that. And keep in mind that due to the nature of leather, that MagSafe wireless charger will leave an imprint on the back of your sleeve 
after a short period of time. Now, the cool thing is that that little window actually will show the charging status. So it'll show that it's actually charging. You get the little lightning bolt there. It'll show the current charging percentage when you take it off the charger. And then when you put it back on, it'll show you that charging percentage as well. So I think it's really cool what Apple's done to that little window. I just wish they would add a little bit more functionality to allow you to interact a little bit with that, especially for incoming calls and text messages. Now, the leather sleeve does have a little pocket specifically for a magnetic stripe card. So you can place that in there. It's not gonna mess the card up or anything. There's only room though for about one card <laughs> or really two, maybe two really thin cards, right? Like maybe like an insurance card or something like that. But I would expect that you would only be able to fit one card in here. And it's a very snug fit, at least initially until the case or the leather sleeve that is, is broken in over time. You have those little tie downs right here to keep the card secure, which is a good thing. You want it to be snug because you don't want your card falling out. But initially I found it really hard to even get the card out without removing my phone first. But again, over time, this will break in a little bit. Hopefully it stays snug enough to keep everything secure but so far so good this early in the game. So I would not buy the iPhone 12 Pro Max leather sleeve because it's just too large for an already large phone. But if I was gonna get a leather sleeve, I would definitely get one for the iPhone 12 mini. I think it's much more suited for that sort of device that's super small because with the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the leather sleeve, I just think you're adding a little bit too much bulk despite how cool that little window is or how much potential I should say that window has because it's still a little bit buggy and it still feels a little bit half-baked. You can get the leather sleeve for all four of Apple's iPhone 12 models in four different colors for $129. What do you guys think about the leather sleeve? Let me know down below. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.